Hi everyone, welcome to Good Morning Tournament with Ben Apsey and I'm Daryl Nicholson. We're early today. We are. I think you nearly fell over when I walked through the door. But the cold must have woken you up. Oh, it was cold. And man, on Facebook, the only happy face I could see about the cold was Graham Strain from Impoggle <laughs> Workwear. He goes for a walk at 5.30 every morning and does a pose, so... Uh, but he was looking very happy, but um, I was under my blankets because I'm, I'm still not 100% from my visit to Queensland Health at the base hospital, mate. I'm, Still struggling a bit to tell you the truth, but anyhow. So um, it's Thursday, mate, Thursday the 16th of July. Mm. Saw a couple of quick things on um, ABC while I was having breakfast, but um, on the drive, I did drive down this morning. So I've got to go and do some shopping after here. Um, it was very busy outside the courthouse, mate, and the Chronicle, thank you, 65 people are attending court today. I'm sure there were 65 outside. They're all lined up. And social, social distancing, distancing they were, they were, so, yeah, so, but, um. Anyhow, uh, mate, a couple of incidents on the road yesterday. Mm. We started off with one yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. And um, one this afternoon. Yeah, and another, yeah, garbage truck yesterday yeah. afternoon. And then another one um, late. With cop. Yeah. About three o'clock. So yeah. just coming with a garbage truck one, mate. I'm sorry, if a policeman asks you to move on, what do you do? I generally move on. I do, because I don't want to be arrested. But um, Inspector Mark Kelly must be getting frustrated with the traffic incidents and I'm sure he might have been a bit frustrated with that guy he was hanging around so he wouldn't leave that accident between the garbage truck and the car mm. and um, subsequently got a free ride back to the station. <laughs> yes, a free, a free ride down to the police station for, for him. Um, and um, it should be pointed out, the garbage truck wasn't on fault, so. All right, okay. Just yeah. doing his job. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, things happen. I mean, I call them, I don't call them car accidents anymore. I think they're car incidents now because of the way we drive but look if you've given a direction by the police our police do a great job in their community just follow their direction please you know that's... and if you're lucky enough to know some of them well one of one of the police officers is actually a little bit of a thespian bit of an actor okay yep, yep. oh yeah i know the gentleman yeah so mm. you never know you never know who they are or what they do in their spare time yep okay uh, the stock market had its best day since june 15 yesterday so um, so a bit more confidence in the Australian Stock Exchange, so um, some great shares out there to buy. Um, been having a look around actually, doing a bit of research while I'm in sort of a bit of lockdown. But Looking at buying shares? I'm um, thinking about it, yeah, thinking about it. I'm not sure yet, I'm just throwing caution to the wind. So, But um, there's some good ones with gold and um, the energy sector. Um, and Commonwealth Bank is a big hot share at the moment, mate. What about, what about Virgin Australia? About um, Virgin they Australia? haven't said much about Virgin. There is um, Qantas is on the boil, strangely enough. Qantas, Webjet. Yeah, yeah, they're advising to buy shares. Well, can't get any worse for them, can That's they? right. So it's probably, probably why they're saying that's a good time to buy. So, Mate, Toowoomba wants to host the NRL and the AFL. What do you think? I think we should. I, we've done the NRL. Um, we've done I, the I think NRL. It's, it's very feasible for Toowoomba to have both one of each team mm. stay here it'll be a godsend for some of the, the hotels you yep. imagine a whole team of afl all their support staff their trainers in quest apartments mm -hmm. yep how happy would they be oh mate that'd be great so look we definitely can do an nrl game we proved that with the titans played if i remember and you can correct me if i'm wrong it, i think it was st george illawarra played up here and the titans used the grounds here the clyde burger because their ground was closed mm. and um everyone thought oh, It'll be a home game for the Titans and Titans for the. But when we got there, there was just a sea of St George <laughs> jerseys in the crowd, and St George kicked. I'm pretty sure it was St George. Anyone correct me if I'm wrong there. It wasn't the Bulldogs because I know we've got mad Bulldogs fans here in Toowoomba. So, <laughs> and it would definitely would have been a sea of Bulldogs. But, um, mate, AFL. I spoke to Ross, my housemate. He used to play AFL in the league back in the days in the, the late 70s, early 80s. He said the Clyde Berghoff is not long enough. You need a really longer ground for AFL, professional AFL. US kick? Don't know, don't know. He said maybe, yeah, you probably could get away with that, but it might, it might make the game more exciting being on a shorter field. So, you know, because... Um, Surely just... at this stage, it's not a, it's not a, oh, well, we don't like it, it's not long enough. It's a, we just need somewhere to play. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, that's it's, right. It's costing them $3 million a week yep. to keep the game running. Mm -hmm. They need to play some games somewhere, and they can't play it in Victoria, can they? No, they're not allowed. Not allowed. Not allowed. Mate, the Magnificent Eleven met yesterday and uh, we watched a bit of the live stream. Uh, the council we're talking about, Toowoomba Regional Council. Um, council? Well, uh, it was, wasn't really a council meeting, it was oh, more it was like a, a tribal council meeting. <laughs> I, I 
just want to talk about the um, Tisby were up for funding and it was quite funny I know we've a lot of these guys are pretty nervous with the Crime and Misconduct Commission and um, declaring their interests but let's talk about Megan mate we, we know Jeff has got an association with Tisby him and his as do, as family does, business as Cracker Melissa. Jack yep. yeah, as does Melissa Taylor so they were excused from the meeting and but Megan O'Hara Sullivan wanted to leave because she's friends with Ali Davenport, who runs Tisby. Yeah, bit, bit of an odd one. I, yeah. But, and and the, the council then voted to bring Jeff and Melissa back. Mm. And I, in my opinion, Megan should have been allowed back in too. Oh, definitely. Yeah, she did come back in later. But it but... certainly highlights three out of ten councillors' conflicts of interest mm -hmm. with one decision. I know. Yeah, a bit of funding for... And it, well, took, it's a and, it took them half, and it took them half an hour to work it out. Yeah, as, as Paul Antonio said, we're, we're wasting a fair bit of time on this, and he was getting a bit frustrated, so... And I, I can understand that, so... Um, mate, they're calling for the committee for the quarry gardens. You can yes. make application to be part of that committee. Anything in your site for that, or...? No. No? No, neither for me, but I... I'll, I'll wait with bated breath to see what comes out of that. Well, it's, we've waited. It's about. It's like the bypass. It's one of those projects that's been around for so long, and it might get built one day. Mm -hmm. um, it's a case of they need to have a really good business case for it. Mm -hmm. It needs funding and a lot of it, and it need, they need to really work out how the traffic flow and the, like the traffic management, the traffic flow, especially that public one, yeah. transport, and even car parking for the area. Mm -hmm. It's a quarry. Yeah, you have to get down into the quarry. Mm -hmm. There's only one road in, one road out. Yeah, so. Oh look, I think it'd be great for Toowoomba if they can pull something together. If they so. maybe, mm. maybe in theory, did something like a cable car from over at Mount Kynock, they put a lookout up the top there, oh, yeah. Big, yeah. make it a big, you know, why not do it right the first time, go big, go hard, yep. or don't go at all. Yeah, so. Yeah. No, they're all interesting. So if you're interested in that, then just go to, um, I think you can find it on the council webpage, but it's definitely in the Chronicle online today, and no doubt it'll be in the paper today as well. Uh, I haven't got the paper today, sorry. Mate, sad news, in Milmerran, a family lost their home. They lost everything in a house fire. Um, wow, she was just out getting some clothes for winter at the second-hand shop in town and come back. They've just finished doing the house up. So, look, there is a GoFundMe page for those people. Again, you can find that story in the Chronicle and um, it would be... Mate, flood you can clean up. Fire you can sort of clean up, but you lose a lot. It depends how bad the fire is. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's demolition totally. Yep. So my, my heart goes out to that Mill Marin family. And um, look, if you got if you got a few dollars, I know things are tight. If you got a few dollars, just find their GoFundMe page and um, give them some money there. Speaking of um, funding, oh yeah, just talk about this. Happy news! Yeah. New edition of High Life magazine I like has magazine. arrived. Yeah. So nice glossy front cover. Yeah. But in good news. The borders are open for Queensland. Oh, yeah, yeah, you've got the notes here. So, um, so I've written down some notes. We've got New South Wales is open to everyone except Victoria. So we're allowed to go to New South Wales if, if we want to. Poor, I think people have been Victoria. a bit cautious about yeah, yeah. Uh, New South Wales as well with the uh, cases on the rise there. 35 new cases coming out of yesterday. Um, yeah. South Australia will open on the 20th of this month to everyone except Victoria, New South Wales and the ACT. Oh, right. So they're playing their cards safe as well, okay. block, blocking off the Mexicans. Okay. And um, Tasmania will reopen on the 24th to everyone except Victoria. Mm -hmm. So you can row your boat. You're seeing a trend here, aren't you? You can row your boat over there. <laughs> yeah. Victoria, do not travel. Just stay away from Victoria mm -hmm. until they've sorted their uh, stuff out. Yep, okay. Uh, Queensland, we are open. You do need a border pass to enter, and we're only open to some areas we're not open to victoria we're not open to the areas in new south wales that have the, got outbreaks the reports are 57 or 58 groups were turned away yesterday mm. yeah so people eight. are still trying to get over and yeah. like hop on trains and buses and car boots like, just don't do it well it's it's nice and sunny up here in queensland mate apart from Look, well, i don't moment. blame people wanting to come oh yeah definitely the northern territory they're the fun ones they're open sooner rather than later okay. they're open on the 17th tomorrow okay, right okay so they yeah. reopen to everyone except victoria and sydney so they've just sydney. blocked sydney as a city but the whole of victoria there are 
30 suburbs in Sydney, I think, that are hot spots at the moment. So. Yep. Um, so that's really good for, for Queenslanders. Um, we've also got the opportunity to go to the ACT if we want to. So if you really want to go and see your Member of Parliament, if you can't see them in their local office, you can go to Canberra if you really want to. Okay. Badger them down there. In Western Australia, they do not know when they will reopen. They are very, very cautious. Oh, really? Okay. Um, which is very interesting. They will make a decision roughly around the 8th of August. It's so interesting four weeks times. before they even make a decision. Still interesting times we live in. So. But at the moment you can go as a Queenslander, you will be able to go to the Northern Territory as of tomorrow, and then as of Monday you'll be able to go to South Australia, and as of Friday next week you'll be also able to go to Tasmania. Yeah. So at least we've got the four states that seem to do things right, mm -hmm. and in four of five, Western Australia exempt, four of the five you're able to travel between them again. So. Very interesting. So, okay, we're getting back to some normality. Of course, travel restrictions recommended not to go to China. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, just be no, careful. No, China. I think it'll be a while before China's back on the cards for anyone. It's the same with Victoria. We'll see. Um, Boris has said um, the telecommunications company. The, I can't pronounce the name. Huawei. 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 Uh, not to do the 5G, they're going to phase them no, out. No, well, they're phasing, not only are they yeah. phasing them out, they have to have all the equipment removed yep. uh, by 2027. So there's a bit of a, I don't want to talk too much about it, but we'll just hide, because the ABC are talking exactly the way we are. Things are just a little bit tense between America, China, Britain and China, and of course so Australia China. and China. Yeah, and, of course, we, and we talk too much about it, they might pull our stream, you never know. And of course they reckon the main, um, China are saying that Morrison started all this, so... Yeah, but anyhow. Little, little Australia is the antagonist in all this, yeah. 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 But interesting times. We developed times. a super virus. Interesting times indeed. Um, mate, Kanye West? Running for president? Not. Oh. Pulled out. Damn it. <laughs> that could be Pulled really out. Fun. So, I'm very, just on America, I've got a bit of a theory with America, right? Like, Biden hasn't announced a vice president yet, keeping it very close to his chest. I've got a theory, I think I know who it is, so... Um, Ellen DeGeneres. No. no. I reckon they're going to announce Michelle Obama as the Vice President. And that will really put a spoke in Trump's campaign if that happens. Yes. And yeah. it's, a, it's a bit like Tormer North not having a Labor candidate yet. <laughs> I don't know how you compare to America to Tormer North. But Playing anyway. their cards safe, keeping oh, yeah, it keep under the radar chest, until yeah. last minute thinking the last minute, yeah. they're not yeah, prepared. He'd be prepared for it. Yeah, okay. And by the way, Trevor, we was on doing community quarters, community corners on Saturday. So I've got to catch up with Trev and um, see him. I had to hit the road Saturday, go to Stanthorpe. So, but um, Trev, if you're out there, I'd love to catch up and um, have a chat about what your community is saying to you. So, you know what I'd really love to see out of our politicians? That's it. I'd love to actually see them walking the CBD, mm -hmm. talking to businesses in the CBD, coming, especially for council. The council building's just down here. Would love to see them come out of their ivory tower and actually interact with the CBD businesses. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, we've run into a few councillors downtown. Spend I've, some money in the CBD. Yep. I've seen Megan. I've seen Tim, and I've seen Melissa. Tim, I've seen the most. Yep. I will give him yeah, credit yep. for that. Tim, mm -hmm. I have seen quite a fair bit yep. through the CBD of late. Yep. And um, the others, we have seen Melissa once. I've seen James. I've seen James at show around. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, John McVeigh, Trevor. David Janetsky, um, if you're about, come and say hello to us and say hello to the people in CBD. Well, I have cause... heard a rumour that Ian McFarlane is in town tonight. Oh, is he? Mm. All right. Oh, Chainsaw. The yeah, the legend. Chainsaw. 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 Okay, mate, that's a wrap. That's Thursday the 16th of July. It's, um, it was, it felt like one degree this morning. It said it was about three. It was we're gonna hit three. We're going to hit the top <laughs> of 14, but um, this, we're on the right side of the sun here. So We are. We're in the beautiful, um, on the beautiful sunny side of the street and um, some tables and chairs will be appearing on our side of the street at some point Sometime, soon yeah. thanks for the coffee this morning mate it's a um, really nice blend giving a bit away there so i'm daryl nicholson Twombra 4358 tv more than just a postcode thank you for joining us with good morning Twombra. remember to like and share us on facebook and on youtube i am ben apsey